There has been a consistent volume of, of activity in each of the occupier markets in Northern Ireland in recent months, with office take up particularly strong in quarter one, albeit boosted by a number of transactions that were concluded towards the end of 2015, but only signed in 2016. Activity in the retail sector has also continued, with several new entrants due to open new stores in the region over the coming months. Meanwhile, appetite for modern industrial accommodation has also remained strong and rents in all three sectors of the market are on target to reach our year-end forecasts released earlier this year. There's also increasing evidence of development activity in Belfast, most notably in the office, hotel and student accommodation sectors of the market, with construction commencing and new planning applications being lodged. Eight investment transactions totalling £55 million were signed in the Northern Ireland market in the first four months of 2016, and at least another 75 million of transactions are in legals at present. However, just like the rest of the UK, there has been a noticeable pause in transactional activity in recent weeks as institutional buyers hold off decision making on large assets until after the forthcoming Brexit vote on June 23rd. Some of the assets that were anticipated to be offered for sale in the first half of 2016 have not yet been brought to the market as a result. Much of the current activity is therefore focused on lot sizes of less than £10 million, which are continuing to trade regardless, being particularly attractive to domestic investors and UK property companies. Despite the uncertainty prevailing in the market in the run-up to the forthcoming local elections and indeed the Brexit vote, prime yields have remained stable across Northern Ireland, with prime offices continuing to trade at 6%, prime shopping centres trading at 6.75% and prime high street retail trading at 5.75%. The availability of debt funding has started to improve in recent months, which we believe will continue to support activity in the investment sector in the region over the rest of the year. An impressive volume of office take-up of more than 158,000 square feet was achieved in Belfast in the first quarter of the year boosted by lettings to occupiers including Puppet Labs, NBC Universal, Highwire and Genpact. Some of these transactions were negotiated in late 2015, but only signed recently. The BBC are reportedly currently looking for more than 100,000 square foot of headquarter buildings in Belfast, while it has also been reported that the HMRC have a 110,000 square foot requirement for Belfast offices. Although a number of new office schemes and office, office refurbishment projects are currently underway, the supply shortages of grade A stock continue to fuel rental growth. Prime office rents in Belfast have risen in recent months and currently stand at approximately £17.50 per square foot. Prime rents in the retail sector remain steady in recent months also, with little new evidence emerging, given that there is limited vacancy in prime locations. Lifestyle Sports have just opened a new store at Victoria Square, and a number of new entrants will be opening stores over the coming months, including The Entertainer and Inglot at Castle Court Shopping Centre in the city. The out-of-town market has a level of pent-up demand, with little or no vacancy in prime locations around Boucher Road, Hollywood Exchange and Newton Abbey. There has been a notable uplift in demand in the regions recently, with Superdry, Next and New Look all securing new stores. There's also been a lot of activity in the hotel sector in Northern Ireland in recent months. Construction has now commenced on a new hotel at Titanic Water. Meanwhile, planning has recently been granted for an 80-bed extension to Jury's Hotel at Great Victoria Street in Belfast, and also for a 188-bed hotel at City Keys in the city. In other hotel news, Delata PLC recently announced plans to buy a 260 60-bed hotel, which will be their third hotel in the city. It's currently being developed by McAleer and Rush on Brunswick Street in central Belfast, and they purchased this for a reported £21 million. We've continued to see significant activity in the student accommodation sector in Belfast recently also, with several schemes now underway and new planning applications being lodged. In recent months, plans have been approved for a total of 563 beds of student accommodation in schemes at York Street and the Dublin Road, while a new 740-bed scheme 
has also recently been approved at College Avenue. Meanwhile, a 0.6 acre site with planning for student accommodation at York Street has recently been sold for a reported £6.9 million. It has also been reported that the 15 acre Sirocco site in East Belfast has also recently changed hands. The focus of attention in the Northern Ireland market over the coming weeks will firmly be on the outcome of the forthcoming Brexit vote on June 23rd. Until such time as there is certainty on the outcome of this referendum, we expect investors in the Northern Ireland market to remain cautious.